there's ways that we can spark curiosity. There's ways that we could get the customer to engage with your brand with very few words. And then as they start moving further into the buyer's journey, you can actually start giving them more and more and more information. Like say you do roofing, right? So you might have like an offer for someone to, you know, get their gutters cleaned. You don't want to necessarily put all of these details and features about getting the gutter cleaned and all these, all these different things that comes with a gutter and why you should do this and that. And it's just going to totally overwhelm the customer. So we want, we're going to talk about how to condense that and make it super simple and digestible. And then when that person goes and calls your business, they start interacting with your salespeople. That's where all of the details start coming in. I totally get it. It's natural to be so excited about what you do and what you have to offer and what you're an expert in that you want to tell people everything. It's really difficult to, uh, to get them to boil things down into their core message. So that's, that's where we come in to help them out. Just remind yourself that whether this is an advertisement, a brochure, a website, whatever, this is not the only touch point. It's not the only place you're going to reach customers. So you need to think, what is the most essential information for this particular touch point? And then what information am I going to put on another touch point? And what am I going to put on you know, another one? You have multiple opportunities to convey all the information you want. So don't bombard people with all that information at once. Absolutely. You know, and, and you can simplify it. And this is what we do. It's like we look at it, and when we, especially when it comes to design and messaging, we first start with saying, what is the one problem that we can solve? So that way, it actually helps you narrow down your focus. So because a lot of times, it's super easy to say, well, our customers have multiple problems. It's, it's not just one thing that happens to them. It's like, this happens, and then this causes this to happen. All those things are absolutely true. They do have all of those problems. But what we're talking about here is the behavior people have online now. Like people are watching their mobile phone more than they do the television. So, you know, even when they're watching television, they're on their mobile phone. People are getting accustomed to how social media is. Think about it, right? I have a video. I have a small message. <laughs> Next video. Video. Small message. Maybe I'm reading subtitles. Oh, here's an ad. Quick, pass forward. Here's an image of someone's family. Oh, read a little bit about them. <laughs> Moving on. That's how they're behaving. So it's like if they come onto your website, they're literally like, real quick, I'm going up and down the page. I'm scanning it, looking super fast at it. So that's why we talk about simplifying and saying, look, we know that someone maybe is going to be on this homepage for 30 seconds, maybe. Let's focus on one problem and, and let's make sure that we show them that we're the master at solving that. And, and, and that's the one key ingredient to really separate yourself from everybody else. Yeah, exactly. Great points about how little time people spend before they move on to the next thing. I mean, that's why we have that acronym TLDR. <laughs> we don't even have time to say too long, didn't read. We got to shorten it to four letters. <laughs> what would you say to someone? Let's say you were working with a client and they were like, okay, I've got this ad and the main thing I want to tell them is, you know, get your gutters cleaned. But I offer some other services and I'm afraid that if someone sees this, they, they don't need their gutters cleaned right now, but they need something else that I offer. Why would I not list every service I provide? Am I going to miss people if I don't put that? Well, this is where a lot of testing can come into play. Having one offer um, that someone's able to focus on, it, it's actually more effective than having too many different offers because for that customer, they're not quite sure which one is for them. And it's just too many choices. If I have all these different services, I would actually run tests to see which services to get the most intrigue, get the most people that are um, reaching out to your business. And then also you have to think about too, is like sometimes you might have one service um, of what we call like a micro conversion, where in this case, the example was the free gutter, right? That's not going to make your company millions of dollars, right? But it's all of the upsells that you do that's going to make that revenue for you. So sometimes you also have to think about it like that and say, well, all these people might have all these things that, that we offer, 
But if we can get them in with this just simple micro conversion, we can upsell them into different offers. And that actually is going to be worth more than us running ads for every single service that we offer. What's the one action you want people to take from this piece of communication? So if, uh, if you're sending out an email campaign, you can't load it with buttons. That's it. Click here for this, click here for that. No, you've got to have one action that you want them to read your brief message and then say, yep, got to do that. And they click it. Or if you're sending out a mailer, are you going to load it with coupons? Or are you just going to put that one, call us for a free estimate, call us to get that free gutter cleaning, that one thing, and then work on the upsells later. Because if you overload people with choices, you could cause them to just freeze and not do anything. If you're like, look, I, I have to put other offers, okay? I mean, we've had clients who are just like, I, I, I'm going to put, I'm going to put coupon. <laughs> it's like the maximum we would say three. Once you start getting into four and five, again, too many choices causes paralysis. This also lends itself to better design. Three. Okay. That would be the max because the more coupons you have, the more you look like, oh, this is just a place that has cheap products. They're willing to sell them for cheap prices, but if you keep your message very simple, if your design is not cluttered, you look more sophisticated.